fragile. These are patients that rely on splitting and projection. So they separate mixed feelings and they'll relocate an internal feeling onto an external person, right? So they'll project onto you. They'll split off a feeling, say, that, that has nothing to do with me. Uh, so they'll use splitting projection. They'll use projective identification. That's where they try to make you feel angry so they don't feel angry. They may split and regard you as all bad and engage in devaluation. They may split and view you as all good and idealize you. Or they may project on you and then they'll act out as if they're acting out toward a projection. For instance, if they judge themselves, they may think you're judging them. And say, what are you looking at? And they want to might want to punch this person who wasn't judging them. And then we have discharge, which is why people oftentimes have trouble tolerating feeling inside. So they'll yell to get the feeling out of them or they'll curse to get the feeling out of them. And the result is patients will either be angry at a person they project on or they're scared of you because they projected onto you. Their anxiety is in cognitive perceptual disruption. This is where anxiety has risen to such an extent. Blood flow has dropped to the brain. Less oxygen is getting to the brain. You actually have what we call hypoperfusion of the prefrontal cortex. Literally, the part of your brain that does this thinking doesn't get enough oxygen. Patient actually has problems thinking, has problems with memory. Um, you will see that the patient may lose track of her thoughts, not due to defense, just simply the anxiety is making her brain not work. She'll report having blurred vision, ringing in the ears. Um, maybe there's a loss of other senses. They might start to hallucinate. They frequently get dizzy, right? Due to the drop in blood pressure to the brain, they get dizzy and they'll faint, and we'll see the defense of conversion. Since there's no tension, oftentimes your fragile patients will feel appear physically calm, but they're cognitively confused. And you might think, oh, this patient is very uh, relaxed. No, actually their anxiety is going to cognitive perceptual disruption, and they look really flat because no anxiety is going into the strided muscles. There's literally no tension that you see in the body. Their anxiety is in cognitive perceptual disruption. They need a lot of anxiety regulation and where we need to help do a lot of work around the triangle of conflict to build their capacity to tolerate feelings without splitting and projecting and to tolerate mixed feelings without cognitive perceptual disruption.